Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned about the concept of drug likeness and some important properties of the drug which include structural, physiochemical and biochemical properties which also include some introductory idea about the solubility, hydrophilicity and other drug properties and that calculations. Here, in this video, we will discuss and demonstrate how to determine the drug likeness using the computational data obtained as the drug properties. Okay, now we will focus upon two important rules, Lipinski rule and Weber's rule to determine the drug likeness. And also, we will analyze the drug property through the computer values obtained and discuss about the drug score. This is the Lipinski rule of 5. You may ask me that there is only 4 rule over here. Then why we call it as 5? Okay, the reason you can find all the values mentioned over here is the multiplicity of 5. So we call it as rule of 5. So for a good in vivo drug, the absorption and permeation, we must make sure that it obeys Lipinski rule. Number 1. The hydrogen bond donors must be less than or equal to 5 for the drug we choose. Number 2. The molecular weight of the drug less than or equal to 500 Daltons. Number 3. The partition coefficient that is log p must be less than or equal to 5. And number 4. The hydrogen bond acceptors must be less than or equal to 10. So, if a molecular drug obey this rule, it is more likely to be a drug. Okay, the Lipinski rule was found to hold good in about 90% of the compound which had the molecular property values within the Lipinski rule. The compound which exceed this value have a higher risk of poor absorption after oral dosing. However, Verbus and his groups, while examining the oral bioavailability of the drug experimentally in a rat, found that other parameters existed to determine the drug likeness than the Lipinski rule, which include the number of rotatable bonds, which is an indication of molecular flexibility, and the second one is the polar surface area. According to Verbus rule, for a drug likeness of the drug must contain rotatable bonds less than 12 and the polar surface area less than 140. Here is an example of a drug doxorubicin where it has been examined for the drug likeness using the Lipinski and Weber's rule. Here you can see the simplified tabulation for the both Lipinski and Weber's rule. Both the rules are essential for the determination of drug likeness. The doxorubicin contains 7 hydrogen bond donors and 12 hydrogen bond acceptors and the molecular weight is 543 and the log p value is equal to minus 1.7 and it contains 11 rotatable bonds and the polar surface area is 206 and the total hydrogen bond is 19 where you can find these values does not ranging with the specified condition so this drug cannot subjected to oral bioavailability but was found to work in intravenously we will compute the similar compound assessment using the certain online servers later in this video. And next is about the drug score. The drug score is the combination of the drug, drug likeness, log P values, log S value, molecular weight and toxicity risk put together and get a single value is called drug score. This drug score can be used to judge the compound's overall potential to qualify for a drug. And the drug score can be calculated using the following equation. Here, DS represents your drug score, and the SA contribution are calculated directly from the values of log P, log S, molecular weight, and drug likeness from the second equation, where S is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus E power AP plus B, where A and B are the parameters for log P, log S, molecular weight, and drug likeness whose values are follows. The TA in the first equation contributed to four toxicity risk type which include chemical, biological, physical and radiation. If the TA value is 1, there is no toxicity risk. If the TA value is 0 0.8, there is a medium risk. So the TA value decreases from 1, the toxicity risk reaches its higher level. Okay. Let's go with our drug likeness graph and see what the information we can get from this. Here we have an example calculation which is computed using Mole soft online server for a drug. 
a new information can be noted from the data apart from the lipinski and verbus rule we can also confirm the drug likeness with the simple drug likeness graph displayed here you can see that here you can see that the graph contain two bell shaped curve one with green color and other with blue color and the drug likeness score is plotted along the x axis the green color curve indicates no drug likeness behavior and the blue color curve indicates the drug like behavior you can find a small red line over here which is our compound for investigation and the red line falls under the blue region with a positive value of 0.29 which is show at the top of the graph in your compound is having zero or negative value of your drug score it should not be considered to be as drug in our case the value is positive and greater than the zero and it also obeys lipinski and verbus rule hence our compound is more likely to be a drug okay let's see how work with moles of to analyze the drug properties go to your web browser and type molesoft.com this is the official page of molesoft okay now go to the free online tools and select drug likeness prediction the drug displayed is by default you can clear this by clicking this icon you can draw your compound using this tools available on either side of the window or you can import from smiles let me import minoxidil using smiles click the import icon and you can paste your smile format of your compound here okay let me go and search for smile for minoxidil you can get the smiles in wikipedia itself before that let us have some details of the drug it is a medication used for male pattern hair loss okay let's copy the smiles scroll down and you can find the smiles over here click show and copy the smiles okay now we will paste it in our moles of and then click okay the minoxidil appears on the window click clean up to optimize and then click calculate properties okay now we will get a molecular properties and drug likeness model score and its graph okay now we can compare the data with these two rules okay the hydrogen bond donor is less than 5 here you can see the hydrogen bond donor is 4 and the number of hydrogen bond acceptor is less than 10 here you can see the number of hydrogen bonding acceptor is 2 and the molecular weight is less than 500 and the molecular weight of minoxidil is 209 and the log p value is less than or equal to 5 here you can see the log p value of minoxidil is 0.65 and the polar surface area is less than or equal to 140 here you can find the polar surface area of minoxidil is 70 and here you can see the drug likeness model score is 0.02 that is greater than 0 so our compound is a drug using this data we concluded that our compound is drug thank you